A few months ago, someone has commented below a tutorial about Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, a AAA game that is in-game status-wise on RPC3, and the comment says that he or she wants to try this game on Steam Deck. And then I wondered what if some people's main motivation for buying Steam Deck is that they want to experience these exclusive AAA games on RPC3, but perhaps don't know that they can't run them properly. You see, RPC3 runs at a fairly high level of compatibility and it's technically one of the most complex emulators out there. RPC3 has a very hefty CPU requirement due to cell chip architecture used in PS3 and because of this, RPC3 is very CPU limited. Cell was designed for a high performance multi-threaded game code. This is why having at least 4 real cores with a good single threaded performance is important. Although, on RPCs3.net, the recommended requirements for the CPU is at least 6 cores. Simply put, the more cores your CPU has, the better the performance. And also, the more it does single threaded performance, the better the results. But unfortunately, as opposed to this, Steam Deck has 4 cores and 8 threads, which is low. And also, a low single threaded performance, which makes it not run a fair amount of AAA games on RPCs3. RPC3 properly. Don't get me wrong, Steam Deck can run all playable games mostly without issues. The problem arises when you want to play a more demanding game like God of War 3, Uncharted series, Infamous, The Last of Us, and so on and so forth. This was just a heads up for people who want to buy Steam Deck just for the sake of playing these kinds of games. I'd recommend you to check the game's FPS on YouTube where some testers have put a video on to have enough information about how the game runs on Steam Deck. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content, please like my videos and subscribe.